hello, my name is Jasmine Cooper, and this is my one-to-one -one scoring stream. If you're new to this particular concept, it was basically born from a video log that I saw by Trevor Morris. I always start my streams with this. But basically, Trevor Morris was asked, uh, Trevor Morris is a composer, he is, his breakthrough project was writing music for the tutors. And he's been writing music for television, I assume, on a large scale ever since. And he created a video log basically answering questions for curious composers. And one question had been the amount of music that they write. And I think it was more, they struggled to write a lot of music and they wanted feedback. And he basically said, if you want to be a film composer, you got to be able to write a lot of music in a short amount of time. And the, I would say the median average would be a minute of polished and complete music in an hour. And so that's where one-to-one -one scoring comes from. It's me attempting to write one minute of music in an hour and basically exercising those particular chops. And so how I do that is I basically create random parameters in which to focus on my music creation to kind of expedite the process. And I use two things to do that. I use a genre wheel, I use a genre wheel, which I will show you now, and I use a random photo generator. Let's start with the genre wheel first. So this wheel is filled with genres that I enjoy writing in and would like to write in. And I I've been saying this for the past few streams, but I need to buy a new guitar. COVID has hit my city pretty hard. I'm in lockdown. I can't go outside of my city. And so uh, that being said, I still do not have a viable electric guitar to play on. So if it lands on anything gearing towards rock, I can't do it. But I select a genre and then I select a, well, I don't select. I have a random photo chosen for me. And I use this site here. And so essentially, whatever genre I get, I have to make a piece of music that fits this, whatever image is populated in that genre. So if I get classical, I've got to write a classical piece that sounds like what this image looks like. And after my genre has been chosen and my picture has been chosen, I call out my start time and then I have an hour to basically complete my minute of polished music. So let's go ahead and start this thing. Of course, I really want to write something in the style, but like I said, I don't have a freaking, I don't have anything viable to use right now. So we can't do rock or gems. We're going to keep going. Oh, something ambient. All right, let's move over here. Huh? Okay, that's a pretty cool image, actually. I actually like that. All right, so it's 8.18 with 15 seconds. Let's start at 8.19. All right, so what I can do for these 45 seconds that I have available to me, I can talk a little bit about some of the, some of the hindrances, hindrances I've come across while doing this particular live stream. So one thing I started off with, and I quickly corrected was not having templates. Templates are a blessing from the deity you serve on high, if you do. But templates make writing music so much easier. It helps streamline your process. And I would definitely advise on starting out with templates. Now, personal clips that hinder me, biggest one is organization. It's 819. We're going to go till 919. I want to call that out. Uh, actually, we'll have to go to 9.15 because I have a meeting at 9.15, so 8 to 9.15. Uh, actually, we'll have to make it shorter than that <laughs> because I need to reflect. So we're going to do, um, we got till 9 o'clock. <laughs> it's not a lot of time. I was waiting to shut up. I need to quickly say this. So, um, ba uh, but organization has been a key role in screwing up some of my earlier streams, that and not ending on time, to, to work on tweaking the mix. 
and also, yeah, working on tweaking the mix. So there's a few things. Organization, tweaking the mix, and cleaning up as I go. Those are probably my three biggest, those are three things I need to work on the most. And a fourth thing that I've realized is for classic, there are some genres that I need more time to develop my ideas with. And one is trying to flesh out an orchestral piece, and I mean like multiple parts orchestral piece. That, I think I can average about 30 seconds in a minute. I'm not at a point where I can just John Williams something really decent and get a minute of, I mean, I feel like John Williams could probably get five minutes of intricate orchestral music in a minute. But me, I'm at 30 seconds. All right, I'm calling it what it is. Uh, okay, so usually how I do this is I have the picture on the screen for a little bit while I noodle around. And you'll hear me out here on the piano or on my keyboard playing around with melodies. And then when I get something, I move on over to my DAW. So, act, but you know what? Act, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. So we're ambient. I'm not really, it's electronic. Well, it's electronic ambient. Well, I can be whatever I want it to be. Um. I probably need to change that to ambient. The more I do this, the more I realize what things I like and what things I don't like. I love ambient music, but I realize I per I personally enjoy altering or uh, acoustic instruments. I I honestly don't like. I'm not a big fan of working in sense and modulating and changing things. I think it's I think it's because it's time consuming. <laughs> and, and in truth, it is. It's a skill that I need to practice more. Um. Okay, I need, to, I need to stop talking. I think I said enough. I, I, got, I really have like 30 minutes to get some a minute down, but ambience is pretty easy. Okay, so look at this picture. Uh, it's blue. I don't want anything. I think I want like bright, bright happiness. I'm thinking K Paxi. Well, K Paxi has K Pax has some somber stuff in it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say K Pax, K Pax is a Old side, you can't see anything. What is happening? Let me fix this. Uh, K Pax is a old, like, I don't say sci fi, but there we go. It's a. Uh, it, I don't know how to describe it, but it's an older, it was a movie made in the 90s, to early 2000s, I think. Great soundtrack. Great sound, fancy, phenomenal soundtrack. Uh, good ambient stuff in there. Uh, Oop, I don't know what I want to do with this. 30 minutes is enough time. But I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, for this, I don't want to resort to using um, presets. Because that would mean I, I'm digging too hard. Just make something. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to switch you over. I'm going to switch over. There's a, so right now what's killing me is this purest mindset. Where I'm like, well, I don't want to use presets. Well, then if you're gonna, if you don't use presets, but you're just gonna drag and drop some random recording you didn't record yourself, what's the difference? Yeah. So this is useless things to grab about in my mind. That is wasting time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a preset here, and I'm just gonna screw it up. Let's find a pad. Uh, experimental is this. Sorry. Definitely not. I want it to sound a lot more rounded. That's too ominous. I wonder if I can mess around with it a bit, though. This ain't doing nothing. The noise. Ah! Nope. Okay, so filter. What's up with the choir?
turning on something I like, actually. too angelic. Okay. Possible tattoo. I'm changing things. I'm, I'm I'm doing absolutely nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm affecting right now. I mean, I could change this. I'm sure. Okay, let me get rid of the low. That's the bypass filter, so that keeps the. Uh... Okay. What can we do here? Actually, what can we do here? Jag diddly. Uh. That's all I got time for. Like I, I don't have time to like experiment a lot. I feel like I, I feel like I didn't do nothing. I feel like I didn't change a darn thing. Let me um. Uh, let me add this to something. Vector, maybe. Where are you? Et no, the other E word. Darn it. Ooh, yes, I got an idea. Heck yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's my keyboard. It's being weird. What's up with you? I like that actually. I like that a lot. Spread it out a little bit. 
Damn it, ugh, I thought I had this. voice and see what I can do with it. That's the closest I'm going to get to something that sounds like as emotional as what I want it to sound like. So hopefully I don't F this up. So I'm going to, whew, fingers crossed I don't screw this up. I hope I don't. I hope I don't. I'm afraid to do this. All right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, uh, Switch over. You're not gonna hear anything in a doll. You should hear my mouth doing mouth stuff. I think it's I think it's a freaking Can you hear me? You can hear me, yeah. Oh my god. It didn't record if you. Oh, you. I just did this, you piece of trash. I just did this. I did this. I told you. I told you this. I told you this. 
God dang it. I'm gonna do it all over again. That's a good take. Skank. Sorry. It's like everybody's supposed to be inside. We put on lockdown. But I got kids screaming bloody murder outside. Sorry, I could easily shut my door, but that won't really stop much. Okay. We're going to go with that for now. Because like I said, I ain't got all day. To be focusing on this. All right. Be gone, D. I'm going to take that vocal recording and all its mess and make it sound like not my voice. Hopefully it sounds like something interesting enough to keep. Okay. Oops. Put my headphones on. Sorry about that. Why do you minimize? It's unnecessary. sound. Sounds awful.
So if you use this vocal the vocoder, you know what you're doing, and please don't laugh at me struggling over here. I, I don't I don't ever use this thing. it's not doing or maybe I'm expecting it to do something it it doesn't do I don't really have many things to use to change how the uh, to change the tone of like uh, an audio file aside from effector I use that to death to be honest uh, I guess I'm experimenting today Uh, I think I put clips in there. Wee, 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 wee. Oh. Usually I'll use like guitar, but I don't have any processors. I stopped using Pod Farm, or I'm trying to phase Pod Farm out. <clears throat>
be a voice in the back, honestly. I don't think I can do... I, I don't have anything that I know of at the moment that I can use to really do some cool things with this voice. I need to find something. Uh, usually I reserve these... I, I do use my car amps. Uh, not car amps, but my guitar amps. But I don't really have any right now. Mm -hmm. of like waves because of the blue in the picture.
Mm. All right. spots in the voice I can clean up. Alright, it's 855. Fortunately, this stream is a lot shorter than my others, but primarily because I ended up wasting time. And really, I wasted time, but I just had microphone issues. And I don't want this to bleed over into my meeting. Alright. Ooh! Sweet! Alright. Mm. So, I'm going to play the track while we look at the picture, and then... I'm going to talk about how I feel. Alright, so that's my piece. So my thoughts. I do not think that the piece I made fits with this picture. When I first started this, I love how I initially said, hey, I should make it bright. 
and it still ended up being not dark, but still contemplative and moody. And I really don't think it brought out any of the brightness of the blue. I could have I could have chosen a lot more lighter colors. I think I defaulted to the type of ambient, the type of ambience that I, the type of ambient that I enjoy listening to, which is the contemplative type of ambient. But I don't think that's what I needed here. I needed something, like I said, a, something more in tune with the vibrancy of the color of the building. So, yeah, as far as fitting the tone, I think I missed the mark. I got my minute in. That's easy to do with ambience, though. <laughs> but not to discredit myself. But I got a minute. I got my minute. So I met my quota. As far as quality, outside of the voice, because in truth, I wouldn't even use my voice. I would want to use... Uh, an instrument that has sliding capabilities, so probably or glissing capabilities, glissandoing. Right now, violin is probably what I would have opted with, or something string related. Violin, probably. Violin or viola. Or, again, I would have been fine with using my voice if I could have manipulated it further. If I wanted to, I wanted to keep the quality of the performance, the sliding up and downs and the vibrato, but I didn't want it to sound like a voice, but I didn't have the adequate tools at my disposal to achieve that, and so I had to improvise. As far as the piece itself, I mean, it's all right. Give it a C. <laughs> I give everything I write. I give everything I write a C. I mean, it's it's whatever. Uh, would I feel bad if I gave this to a client as like a final piece? I'd be okay with it. Again, I would have definitely opted for not using my voice or being able to manipulate it further. Uh, or for the amount of time I had at my disposal. Um, I mean, I'd be, uh, I'd be, I'd, I'd be okay with it. I wouldn't be like, I can't wait for everybody to hear it. It'd be more like, I submitted this piece of music. <laughs> uh, so, makes me wonder how, is that a common feeling for composers who write for television? Does, does it, I, I guess the, depends on the piece or the theme of the of the show itself because um, in truth I I don't I wouldn't want to be a composer for television who just goes yep just got that out the door that's not what I wouldn't want majority of my profession to revolve around that but it makes me wonder how common is that mindset where it's not really about how much you like the composition but literally that being the last thing that you focus on. The first thing you're focusing on is, is it what the client wants? Is it up to, is it on par with the type of quality that they need in terms of not compositional quality? I mean, compositional quality, it'll be there. But in terms of what you want as a composer, is, is, it, is it quenching your own thirst as a musician? I guess... There are obviously times where you miss out on that. But it does make me wonder. Because like I said, majority of the... I think out of everything I've written, there's probably been like two or three things that I've been like, yo, I dig this. Everything else has kind of been like, eh. It's been a mixture. It's like, I'll have some where I mix it, and I think I do a really good job in terms of the quality, but then as far as the composition, I'm like, whatever. And then there are compositions where I've been like, yo, I really dig this. And the quality has been like, No. So I gotta find a way to combine the two more often, I believe. All right, but that's it. That's all I have for today in terms of one-to-one -one scoring. I apologize that it's so short and I apologize that it was brought on by technical difficulties, but I understand what I need to do to avoid that next time. But before I go, I always like to say thank you to those who came out, Gemini Ninja. Thank you for coming out. Hopefully this was enjoyable or me detailing my, or me reflecting on the process was helpful in some way. I can't, I, I guess I was more organized this time, but I only had, <laughs> I had two instruments. So it's incredibly hard to be mis disorganized when you only have two things to work with. But I still didn't label anything. So I'm still really sucking at that. Everything is still pattern one.
Like my, I didn't even label the recording. It's untitled the date of today. <laughs> so organization is still pretty trashed. Everything is still gray, <laughs> but I'm gonna work on it. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you, um, uh, glad that you had a good time. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you, Gemini. Thank you, Academy Impossible. Thank you, Miss Mesalinity. I hope I said that right. Paulina93 and Surplus. Thank you for coming out as well. And next time it'll, it'll definitely be longer. But that's it for today. Until next Tuesday or me having just a regular stream. I'll see everyone. Later.